shout out to Shadow Myth one two three for sending me this story and it's actually more of an update because i vaguely remember talking about this woman when this story first came out um if you don't remember back in 2016 there was this woman by the name of dory myers who you see in this picture right here who was basically caught in the act of giving head fellatio to a 14 year old student and she's from, and she teaches in uh, the Bronx in New York. Well, the update has come down that this woman will only receive a whopping total of ten years probation. Am I shocked by this? No, I am not. But this also goes back to what I have said plenty of times before. When it comes to men and women, when it comes to these cases, first off, neither one of them should be engaging with children in that manner. Let's just put that out there. But when it comes to a woman doing stuff like this, her punishment, if she even receives one, is never even remotely as harsh as it is when a man does it. Because what it's telling me is this. And I think I figured it out. They're basically saying that a man should always be able to control his urges. That's basically what it's telling me. And that a woman is allowed to let her sexual nature just run wild and free. And just allow anybody to just slip whatever up in her. And no matter what the age it is or what age the person is, it doesn't matter. Or in this case, let some body slip something into her mouth. No matter what the age. That's basically what I'm gathering from this. They're basically saying that a man should be able to control his sexual urges and that a woman is not able to control her. So that's why she's a little they're a little bit lenient with her. I can't remember the last time that a woman who has done something like this ever received a harsh punishment i have to go all the way back to mary Kay letourneau and that would mean i'd have to go all the way back into the 90s but every other woman i've seen when it comes to this she might she will get arrested she'll get charged but then she'll get hit with probation like this chick here 10 years probation they probably said that she can't teach at the school anymore but it didn't say anything about her not being gainfully employed all I'm going to say is this. The only thing that can come to her now is shame because her story is out there. It's crazy. She how old is this woman? Let me uh, scroll down. She's 30. She's the same age as me. She looks older, though. Uh, she's 30 years old and she found a, well at the time, which was four years ago. She was 26. And she was given head to a 14 year old student and i think the way that they found out is of course in typical fashion i think the boy told somebody or somebody found out and that's how it uh got exposed that that's what she was doing like i said it doesn't surprise me that 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 this is the little minuscule charge that she got because like i said she has two things working for her one she's a white woman and two she's a woman they tend to be very lenient with them when it comes to these type of charges. And where is me? I don't know why I'm about to ask this, but I'll ask it anyway. Where is me too? We, well, I know they're not going to say nothing because she doesn't fit the description. Now, had this been re role reversal and there was a 26 year old man named Danny Myers and he forced not, well, not even forced, but had a 14 year old female student giving him head and he got caught. Oh, 10 years in jail register as a sex offender which by the way let me scroll down here right quick because i'm curious they said okay 10 years probation and found her to be a level one sex offender let's see they said the prosecutors had to ask the judge to sentence her to a minimum of two years in prison they had to ask her that and get this, she took a plea agreement with the Manhattan Criminal Court and they were, uh, and, and guess what? 
she was allowed to keep her teaching certificate. Which means this woman can still be a teacher. Maybe not at that school. But she can still be a teacher at another school. Y'all can't tell me this privilege does not work in their favor almost every time. If I was a betting man when it comes to something like this, I'd probably be a millionaire plus a few times over by now. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. I will talk to you in the next one.